This video will demonstrate how to save a big blue button video so you can delete from the Schoology Conference's completed list. According to our school's policy for one-to-one -one teacher student sessions, we must record and preserve a recording of the session. However, Schoology Conferences has an auto-publish feature. This means that once Big Blue Button processes the video, it will automatically appear in the completed tab of the Schoology Conferences page. This workflow is fine if you have recorded a group session that you want all your course members to have access to, but you do not want all members of your course to have access to one-to-one -to -one sessions, which are intended to be private. Because we have premium Big Blue Button, they are working to set up an option for us that will bypass this auto-publish feature. But until that is in place, please use this workaround to keep those one-to-one -one sessions private. In addition, you'll need to use this workaround for one-to-one -one sessions that you have already recorded. Organizations with the basic free version of Big Blue Button can also use this workaround. Click on the conferences link in your course or group. Then click on the completed tab where you will find a list of conferences you have completed. If you have recorded a session, you will see a play button. All members of your course or group have the ability to view this recording. If you have any sessions listed here that should not be public to your entire course or group, follow these steps. Click on the play button to open the recording of the session. Right click, to get a pop-up menu and choose Save Video As. You'll get another pop-up window where you need to name your video. And choose a folder where you want to save it. Make sure the name is clear so it indicates what that uh, session is about and then click Save. The video will begin downloading to your computer. Depending on the length of the video, this may take seconds to a couple of minutes. Depending on whether you're working on a Mac or a PC, the video will save as either an M4V file or an MP4 file. Once the video is downloaded to your computer, open your Google Drive and click on the new button. Choose file upload and then click locate and click uh, to select your uh, video file and then click open. You'll see the video starting to upload here in the lower right area. It may take a minute or more for the file to upload. I recommend creating a folder in your Google Drive where you keep all of these files. Once the file upload is complete, you'll, it'll look like this with a confirmation. Now go back to the Schoology Conference page and delete the session from the list. Click on this gear icon and select Delete. I also recommend that you delete the file from your computer. Make sure to follow all the guidelines for live virtual sessions as outlined in our organization's recording of live virtual sessions document.